wanted to do something very different for stepping out and I knew Kristen was a fabulous musician and Scandinavian dance uh, music was her main thing and I actually never listened to Scandinavian dance much music so I wanted to try something new. soul um, together and uh, I've been playing Scandinavian folk music since I was 12 and Elin Palmer uh, will be joining us and she's a um, she's grew up here in Colorado but she's also part Swedish and she's a fabulous Scandinavian musician as well so she's playing with us and then Seth Primo um, has been studying the music for a long time Live music it gives energy to the dancers, to the musicians, and to the audience. It's like contagious, so it's just gonna build on itself. Um, I know that because we just performed Rodeo to the Philharmonic, and it was, I mean, it's live music is amazing. I do have to say, she gave me music, and the second piece in this particular group is um, for my father, and it's very quiet. And she also said, maybe you should do something with the guys. And I was like, I first listened to the music and I was like, Kristen, this is not guys. And then I was like, this could be cool. So I have, in my mind, a very nurturing thing where the guys, there's no tricks, which is unusual for guys. Yeah. There's no pirouettes, there's no jumps, and they're actually like holding shoulders and I mean it's it's beautiful and at first they were like you know being weird and then you know fake weird and then I think they really are embracing this so again it's a whole new everything's new for me with this piece and I'm really excited what I think is going to be interesting is that with folk music, you have a little bit of improvisation that's happening. Tiny bit. Yeah. As far as, um, you know, like when you learn a classical piece, like you play Bach, your goal is to play it exactly the same every single time with these certain things. And like everything's very, very planned out. With folk music, you have that plan, but then you're also kind of reading each other, you're reading the dancers, you're playing with the flow. So there's that the that I'm talking about. Actually, I like that. that. Because there's some yeah. moments in the dance that need a little extra time so you can improv them. Right, exactly. So, <laughs> in, other words, well, in other words, you can, you have that ability to be flexible with each other as um, between the music and the dance and so that they start, you start to become a whole group. No, I think it's, it's going to be a whole wonderful yeah. show because of that. Because yeah. of the difference between the music and the dance. Mm -hmm. Folk versus classical. Yeah. It's going to be wonderful.